Hello, this is Kirk Bolville, and you're listening to TV Confidential. What's that? Learn to love that chair. That is your freedom. Mom, will you promise me that I'll ride again? If I have to strap you in that saddle myself. Now, as you start to do more stuff for yourself, you're going to find that things that once came naturally are now difficult, and that's okay. Maybe you could do something other than rodeo. Rodeo isn't something I do. It's really, it's who I am. If I can't ride like I used to, I never want to ride again. Don't you give up. This chair will either be your wings or it will be your anchor. You decide. Ed Robertson welcoming you back to TV Confidential Radio Talk Show about television. That is happy to welcome back actress Audrey Walters. Audrey has a supporting role in Walk, Ride, Rodeo, the new Netflix original motion picture that is based on the inspiring story of Amberly Snyder. Amberly Snyder, the teenage champion barrel racer who became paralyzed from the waist down due to a near fatal car accident only to defy the odds and return to racing less than a year after her accident. Audrey has a small role in the movie, but in a way, it's a pivotal role. We'll ask her about that in just a second. Audrey Walters' other movies and TV roles include Arizona, Big Kill, Preacher, Killer Woman, The Lake, Camouflage, Diablo Diablo Canyon. I don't know why I'm stumbling over that. Diablo Canyon, (laughs) After the Fall, and The Price of Fame. When she is not acting, Audrey Walters draws on her background as a broadcast journalist and entrepreneur to co-run the youth workshop Talk to the Camera. Talk to the Camera helps elementary and middle school age children develop their social communication skills as opposed to the social media skills. I mean, you form talk to the camera because kids have overly developed their social media skills to the point where they forget about the communication skills. <laughs> exactly. You got it. <laughs> we'll talk about that in just a second. But first, Audrey, welcome back to our program. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I watched uh, Walk Ride Rodeo last night. And mm-hmm. probably the biggest takeaway for me, Audrey, is that it is essentially a mother's story. It's the relationship between Amberly and her mom that drives the story. And I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm guessing that because you are a mom first and foremost, uh, you raised your kids before you went back into acting. I'm guessing that uh, one of the things that attracted you to be in part of Walk, Ride, Rodeo is the fact that it is a mother's story. Yeah, absolutely. I, that was one of the big attractions. And not only that, just being a fan of, of a story like that where it's based off truth and someone like Amberly defied all the odds and was able to get back on a horse. I just think it's a remarkable story. Yeah, and for people who are familiar with the Chicken Soup for the Soul books, Jack Canfield would call Amberly's story a mountain story because as we just kind of alluded to in the premise a young girl a very talented young girl faces a debilitating obstacle that's the mountain and the challenge is to overcome the mountain and whether you're a barrel racer whether you're a mom or just you know someone with a heart I mean there's <laughs> there, there's nothing like a great mountain story absolutely and I think what I loved about it, and I, you can speak to this as well since you just watched it, mm-hmm. um, you know, Amberly was on set every single day, mm-hmm. and she was involved in all the filming process. So I loved that there were some gritty moments that really came through. It wasn't all rainbows and flowers. It showed some of those times where she was really struggling during her recovery. Um, I think that really helped having her on set. And then one of the biggest things that I it was so inspiring to me was that she did all of her own stunt work. Yes. And it, it was just so moving to watch her in her wheelchair go over to her horse, and she has these straps that she uses to pull herself up, and mm-hmm. she gets on that horse, and, I mean, she just books it. Yeah. It, it was unbelievable. Yeah, and, and knowing that when you watch the movie – it just makes it that much better, I think. The, the movie is Walk, Ride, Rodeo. Audrey Walters has a supporting role in Walk, Ride, Rodeo, which is uh, streaming on demand on Netflix. And let's not forget, Amberly at the time 
the car accident happened is uh, what 16 17 years old she's a kid she's developing a lot of stuff i mean she's still developing as a person yeah. that's a that's a lot to lay on a kid and i don't know where she got well actually you could probably speak to that because you got you got to you made the movie you got to spend a little time with her where she found the moxie to overcome yeah. all that stuff at such a young age that is part of the appeal of the story Oh, it really is. And by the way, I play the only mean person in this film. I'm getting to that. You are the closest thing to an antagonist in this movie. <laughs> oh, really? I know. Believe it or not. But she comes from a family of firecrackers. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're all just like fighters. Mm-hmm. And um, the whole family was on set. And I think that was what was so different about this film than other ones that I've done, where you had all the real people in the story, mm-hmm. except for my character, and um, and then all the actors playing the real people, and everyone was there. Yeah, you know, uh, it was it was just it gave it a different feel and a different vibe, but it was really cool. You could tell that it was going to be something that that was going to be a great story. Yeah, it is a great story. Walk Ride Rodeo is available for streaming on demand on Netflix. I don't want to give too much away. Let's just say your character is like, she's like a walking, talking, doubting Thomas. She's the only real naysayer (laughs) in the story. Yeah. And just from our last conversation and just from what I've learned about you, you know, that mindset is like totally foreign from who you are as a person, Audrey. And yet I imagine that both as an entrepreneur when you started Talk to the Camera or going back to acting after raising your family. I'm sure you heard a few Mm -hmm. Doubting Thomases and Naysayers when when you went back to acting and started your own company. Did you draw on anything like that when you played that person in the movie? Um, Yeah, you brought up some really good points. I mean, yeah, there's always going to be people who are dream crushers, you know, who, who just kind of don't, don't really believe that that you can. And I, I'm constantly dealing with those people all the time, and especially though whenever I was first starting out. And I think that the trick is to hear what those people are saying, understand, you know, that there is some validity to it, but then find that power within to keep on fighting and keep on going. Yeah, I, I didn't really relate some of the naysayers that I've heard no. in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really did it. I mean, I don't know. I just was like, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, in a way, your character, there are two great lines in the movie, one of which is whatever life gives you, give back more. I mean, yeah, that, get, give back more. Yeah. Yeah. I shared that with a friend of mine. I said, that's a keeper. I'm going to remember that. Yeah, but the other thing, sure. yeah, and you're talking about Audrey pulling herself, using straps to pull herself up in order to mount her horse, um, mm-hmm. but there's a scene early in the movie where Amberly is not sure that she can do this, and her mother, this is another one of the takeaways of the movie, her mother says, that saddle is either going to lift you up or bring you down, it's your choice, and again, that's something we can all identify whenever we hear naysayers in the background, no matter what we do in life. Absolutely. Oddly enough, I booked this film off tape because I was working on another project and was flying from one location to another and I so I did the tape and I sent it in and then get this urgent call from my agent saying uh quickly they want you to do another one they have a redirect for you and so I filmed it sent it off and lo and behold I booked the the show which I was so excited about um so really the first time I met all these people was on set the day I was working and um you know, I showed up just being me, and they were like, oh, my gosh, you're going to be this this person? <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny, Missy especially, she was like, oh, really? This is going to be, this is going to be interesting to see. And after the first take of rehearsal, um, Missy turns around to me, she was like, oh, you're me! <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Audrey Waters. Audrey plays the only mean person in <laughs> Walk, Ride, Rodeo, Walk, Ride, Rodeo, the new inspiring motion picture that is available on demand through Netflix. 
Amberly Snyder and her mom. They're both real life people. You yourself, we alluded to this um, in, in our open. You yourself played a real life person not too long ago, Audrey, in the Price of Fame episode about the yeah. death of Robin Williams. In one of the reenactment scenes, you played Robin's assistant, the woman who discovered his body after he took his life. How do you prepare yourself for a sequence like that? That was a really, really tough one. And it was really hard to recover from, more so. Whenever I'm preparing for something, I just try to base all of it in reality. Mm-hmm. As as if it was something that I'm going through, you know? And so that's kind of the prep work. And frankly, whenever we did the walkthrough and we're rehearsing that scene, the character, the person who plays Robin Williams, resembles him just so much. Wow. And the setup was just really uh, devastating. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was pretty realistic the way that they set it all up. So... Gathering those emotions and going there came really easily because it just felt so real. Even though I knew it wasn't, I I, I mean, it just felt so real to me. Everybody knows about the story, Mm -hmm. and and I've always had such a love and respect for for Robin Williams and all that he's done. And and, um, I felt like that the team really did a good job of, of, telling his story with integrity in, in that show. I don't know if you got to watch it, but I, I do feel like they did a really good job. And all the actors on set for that one, we all realized that we had a story to tell, and we did want to tell it with integrity mm-hmm. and authenticity. And I, and I felt like it came through. Yeah, I've not seen the whole film. I have seen your footage. And mm-hmm. I mean, just working on that, it's very well done. It is, there is integrity in portraying, you know, that and the circumstances that sadly brought him to that. But I'm thinking aloud here, and this is probably a stupid question. I don't know how how else to ask it. But knowing the facts of what happened, Mm -hmm. how do you, as a performer, block all of that out once the red light goes on so that you can convey the shock of discovery that his assistant discovered that day. I mean, how, how do you go about doing that? I think um, it's always a challenge to, to yeah, put those things aside, but b- behind every single relationship, there's tons and tons of history, mm-hmm. right? So having that knowledge base gave me that history, but being able to walk into that and be have that sense of um, shock <laughs> and discovery it just was like kind of a reset yeah. each time. It, it, that's the only way that I could do it. And, and honestly, every single time I turned that corner, it felt different. Mm-hmm. Like I, I thought I discovered something else and something new that surfaced. Um, it wasn't like it was the exact same. And I think even though you have this knowledge base, you never know how it's going to affect you whenever it's you in that situation. And like I said, that's kind of my approach whenever I'm prepping for a character. So... It, it, it's still just, I have this discovery every single time I turned that corner and found his body. And every single time I entered that house and was beginning to get nervous about, like, what's going on, where could he be? Even though I knew the path I was taking, it still, I, I still felt this sense of, of urgency and not knowing what I was going to discover and what I was going to see. We're talking to Audrey Walters. Audrey played uh, Robin Williams' assistant in one of the reenactment scenes of the Price of Fame episode uh, produced by the Reels channel that uh, looked at the tragic demise of Robin Williams. And I'm just guessing, just listening to you, Audrey, I'm guessing that in a way how you prepared to play that scene, Mm -hmm. I guess it's no different than any other character or role you're doing, whether it's a reenactment or just a fictional story, because you read the script, but when you're shooting scene 24, you have to Mm -hmm. act as, even though you know what happens next because you read the script, in the moment when the red light goes on, you have to act like you don't know what's going to happen next. Absolutely. Yeah. And and I think it's just, again, trying to make it real, Mm -hmm. trying to make it real and just as if you're walking into that situation <laughs> time over and over and over. 
whatever. Yeah, that, I mean, that is, it's, it's, it is truly how I immerse myself and, and can develop different characters, I mean, no matter what the situation is. I mean, I, I do have an open heart. <laughs> 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 I, I do. And, and, yeah. you know, I, and I put it out there all the time. And um, I, that's why I think for me, whenever it is an emotional scene, going there isn't the problem. Recovering from it is. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, time afterwards where I'm really worked up and, and upset, and I kind of have to like calm myself. Yeah, down and pat myself on the back, say it's all going to be okay. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I, I guess everybody has their own way of doing things. And that's just kind of mine. Was that the first time you had ever played a real person? Um, yeah, it was. Is it more challenging for you as a performer to play a real person versus a fictional character, or is your approach and preparation the same regardless? I love the challenge. So I, I do believe it is more of a challenge because it comes with a bigger responsibility. Mm-hmm. It's not just something that I can create, and, and it's okay if I make certain choices. It comes with a bigger responsibility because more than anything, I want that person to be happy and satisfied with it. I mean, to to really like, you know, feel like it's authentic. Um, but I love a challenge. So I love whenever I, I get the opportunity to try something new and different that I've never tried before. We're talking to Audrey Walters. Audrey's many film and TV credits include The Price of Fame, Big Kill, Arizona, and the only mean person in the inspiring Netflix motion picture, Walk, Ride, Rodeo, Walk, Ride Rodeo is available for streaming on demand on Netflix. We'll continue our conversation with Audrey after this quick time out here on TV Confidential. Got a product or service that you want our listeners to know about? Become an advertiser or underwriter of TV Confidential and let our brand help promote your brand. For more information, go to televisionconfidential.com forward slash advertise or visit the TV Confidential page at advertisecast.com. Com. Ed Robertson, author friend Donna Allen Figueroa, who I understand has a new book out. Yes, it's entitled Fall Again Beginnings. It's the first part of a four-part contemporary romantic series uh, set against the background of working actors. Something that you know a, little, a thing well, or two well, about. Well, you write what you know, and I have been working in the business for several years. It is not necessarily autobiographical, but it's based on... Sure, many of the experiences that the actors in my book have, many have happened to me, many have happened to friends of mine. It's not, if you're looking for Valley of the Dolls, it's not, it's grounded in reality. It is grounded in reality, and it's the first in a series. Yes, called the Fall Again series. Fall Again. Which is available as a paperback as well as an ebook and in Kindle at fallagainseries.com. Ed Robertson along with Benny Biffle and Sammy Schuster, the stars of The Misadventures of Biffle and Schuster. Hey, Benny. Yes, Sammy. Did you know that there's a new DVD out called The Misadventures of Biffle and Schuster? You're kidding. I thought it was married. I thought it was The Mrs. Adventures no, no, of no, Biffle no, no, and no. Schuster. No, it's single. It's oh, single. It's called The Misadventures like of Biffle and Schuster. It's on Kino Lorber. Oh, that's a big company. It is. They only release good stuff. In fact, this came out the same week as the Ten Commandments, the Paramount one that was in color came out. You're kidding. So you know they deal in quality. Yeah. Of course, this one's mostly in black and white, but there is some color in there, as I recall. Right. But the the movies are colorful in themselves. They certainly are. Mm -hmm. And we work with some wonderful people in there. That's right. And Joe Dante visited us on the set, the great director Joe Dante. What did he say about this collection of shorts? He said something along the lines of, and this is merely a quote, Forehead slapping funny. What impresses is the dogged authenticity to the era, which makes it all the more hilarious, says I, Joe Dante. Joe Dante. How about Ooh, that? Yes. Mm-hmm. And he's a famous writer. Yes, he is. Well, wrote about that Inferno thing. He certainly did. Yeah. Terrific, yeah. We're Biffle and Schuster, as you can see. No, no one else can make that statement louder than we. They say we're soporific and it's probably we. Because we're Biffle and Schuster. Oh, we're Biffle and Schuster. No, no. We're Biffle and Schuster. Whoop. B I W F Biffle Biffle S H W S T Schuster Biffle and Schuster more. Need we say more? 
Available wherever DVDs are sold through our friends at Kino Lorber. TV Confidential is available online for listening on demand as a podcast through iTunes, Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and anywhere else where you could download podcast. You can also listen to recent episodes of TV Confidential On Demand for free on the Listen Now page at televisionconfidential.com. Hello, this is Robert Wagner, and you are listening to TV Confidential. And Robert's with a reminder that the next edition of TV Confidential will premiere next week on the station at the usual time. Our guests will include film, stage, and television actor Robert Hooks. We hope you'll join us for that. In the meantime, our guest this hour is Audrey Walters. Audrey has a supporting role opposite Missy Pyle in the new original Netflix motion picture, Walk, Ride, Rodeo. Walk, Ride, Rodeo is available now for streaming on demand on Netflix. Audrey Walters can also be seen as a sultry take charge madam in Big Kill. Big Kill, a western from Archstone Pictures starring Lou Diamond Phillips. Big Kill is now available on DVD. I think we mentioned this in our open. You also had a recurring role on AMC's Preacher. And I'm not an actor, Audrey. I just talked to actors on the radio, but I would imagine as a working actor, it's good when you get to do a series because sometimes you never know when your next role is going to be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, that's what I love about about features as well is you really devo- develop that time together mm-hmm. and you become a family, mm-hmm. all, all the people working on, on set. And so it's the same thing with the series. Um, when, you, when you get the opportunity to be recurring, it's not about the work, like the scarcity and, and being concerned about, you know, oh, no, what's my next job going to be? It's mm-hmm. just I love the camaraderie and I love the collaboration. And I yeah. just really enjoy that uh, more so than just stepping in, being a day player and leaving. Um, I just I love that creating process and kind of feel like we're all collaborating and making something really cool together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Big Kill was one like that because I was on that set for – uh, almost three weeks. Mm-hmm. So that was one where you just really got to know everyone and felt that camaraderie. And that one's out on DVD, by the way, next week, March 19th. Okay, Big Kill is also available on DVD. I understand that you filmed Big Kill at a historic movie location in New Mexico. That's right. Um, it's called Bonanza Creek, and it's an old Western set. And when you can identify some of the sets, you can start to identify that same set mm-hmm. in a lot of westerns that you've watched. Even Godless. I don't know if you've watched that show. Uh, it's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Awesome show. Um, that one also was filmed on the same set, Bonanza Creek. Mm-hmm. And dates all the way back to, gosh, I don't know. We could look it up. I think Billy the Kid, Lonesome Dub. There's so many different amazing films throughout history that have been made there so yeah it was a really cool place it was a really cool place to shoot that movie although i understand audrey that many of your scenes took place at night and during winter time that's right yeah except for that i was a madam (laughs) i didn't have many clothes (laughs) not enough for the weather and it was freezing yeah so cold yeah and it's a Western set, meaning, like, these buildings have no insulation whatsoever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you could be standing next to a wall, and you can feel the air coming through all the <laughs> little, you know, pieces of wood. Um, it was just so cold. So we would all huddle around the heaters in between takes. <laughs> this is a stupid question. When you're freezing your you-know-what off, how do you block all that stuff off when the lights go on and you got to... Do scene 27. Oh. Again, I think it's just that immersion yeah. that, that you're going through. That, and, and I mean, and I was, re- and my knees were shaking. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing. I had to be like, okay, stop it, knees. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of amazing that, that mind over matter 
there were you know, where as soon as they would call action, it was like, okay, yeah, oh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I guess it helps that depending on who your fellow actor is with in the scene, I mean, their their knees are probably rattling just as much as you do. So there's comfort in that, and then you just focus on each other. Yeah, it was, except for, you know, all the men are wearing, like, three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it was more me and all the little whores. <laughs> Big Kill is now available on DVD, and uh, Walk, Ride, Rodeo is available for streaming on demand on Netflix. I want to ask you a couple of questions about Talk to the camera, I understand that uh, you have expanded talk to the camera to other locations besides your home base of Colorado. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, we've been getting inquiries <laughs> over the last couple of years, just people saying, I really want that here. I really want that here. So we decided to, to create it in a way where it could be available for someone else to open up at another location. Mm -hmm. And let's see, our first one was in Orlando, and they're doing awesome down there, mm -hmm. uh, running Talk to the Camera Orlando, Florida. So um, we have a few other locations in the works and, and kind of working on those right now. It should be able to, to hear more about Talk to the Camera more nationally. So... Um, super excited about that. I mean, when my business partner, Jenny, and I started it, um, we realized we had something a little different and, and something that kids gravitated toward and loved, but parents especially loved because they started to see some really cool results with their kids as far as eye contact yeah. and that active listening and, and having some options for their kiddos that are not just the typical sports and, and, and all that, where there's so many kids who are creative and, and, and they want to do all these really cool things and they have these amazing ideas. Um, they just need to be given the platform and the place to do that. So we're so excited and so grateful that, um, that we're able to kind of share it nationally now. Yeah, and Talk to the Camera teaches middle school age kids things such as poise, eye contact, social communication skills, positive self-image. Those are all good skills to have, you know, not only as you enter high school or college, but no matter what you decide to do when you grow up, Audrey. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many things going on with the youth uh, right now, just with being so reliant on their cell phones for communication, mm -hmm. they're losing a lot of that face-to-face -face interaction. So whenever they get into a setting, whether it be in a classroom or in a work setting of some sort, they're less inclined to speak up and speak out and share their thoughts because they're not as practiced at it. It's hard, it's hard for us to fathom because it's so different than the way that we grew up. So I think that that's one of the biggest keys is just giving these kids some opportunities to communicate and, and gain some confidence in speaking up and talking to others, whether it be interpersonal communications or whether it be public speaking. All of those are so crucial. We all know how much video has changed. Mm -hmm. Video is everything right now. Mm -hmm. So being able to have that skill set of being on camera, knowing how to do it, and knowing what it looks like and what you can expect, I think it's just going to serve the use of this generation a lot better down the road because everything's kind of headed that way. To learn more about Talk to the Camera, to find out if you want to bring it to a city near you, go to talktothecamera.com, facebook.com forward slash talk to the camera, or Twitter at talk to underscore camera. Uh, let's see, we talked about uh, Walk Ride Rodeo, we talked about Big Kill, we talked about Preacher. What else do you have? working on that you're at liberty to tell our listeners? A lot of things in the works, but one thing that we're in the process of creating right now through Talk to the Camera is a talk show. Oh. Yeah, it's for kids, and it's going to have kid, um, kid people, kid people, <laughs> uh, <laughs> kid, kid correspondents, I guess that's what I'm kid correspondents worldwide yeah. is, is our goal for it. Part of our goal with our organization is to not only give kids confidence, mm -hmm. but just create awareness and really awesome humans. <laughs> so 
we thought, wouldn't it be really cool if we create this talk show where it's like a Saturday morning fun show, kind of like a Saturday night live, but a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. And, um, and we're working on getting some, some correspondence worldwide because we thought it would be really cool for kids in America to see kids from across the world checking in and saying, hey, here's what's going on in my neighborhood today. We've already filmed our pilot, and we're working on kind of getting that rolled out. Well, when you're ready to roll it out and ready to launch it and talk about it, please be sure to stop by and visit us again on TV Confidential. I would love that. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Ed. Audrey Walters has a supporting role in Walk, Ride, Rodeo. Walk, Ride, Rodeo is now available for streaming on demand on Netflix. For more information on Audrey, go to AudreyWalters.com. You can also follow her on Twitter at Audie Walters. For more information on Talk to the Camera, go to TalkToTheCamera.com, Facebook.com forward slash Talk to the Camera Denver, or Twitter at Talk to underscore Camera. We'll take a quick time out, then we'll be back with more TV Confidential right after this. If you haven't been listening to TV Confidential, this is who you're missing. Good answer. Connie Stevens. Don Wells. Eric Braden. Tony Camille. Jansen Williams. Don Most. Troy Finnis. Peter Marshall. Sherry Alberoni. George Slaughter. Dan Castellaneta. Taylor Hicks. Lindsay Wagner. Loretta Swift. And many, many more of your favorite celebrities and people behind the scenes in the world of television. That's TV Confidential. Every week on this station and every day online at televisionconfidential.com. One more item. January 23rd, 2019 marks the 100th anniversary of the birth of television's original genius, Ernie Kovacs. And to mark the occasion, our friends at Shout Factory have put together Ernie Kovacs, the Centennial Edition. Ernie Kovacs, the Centennial Edition, a nine-DVD box set that combines previously released volumes to bring you a cornucopia of Ernie's greatest and most memorable hits, including episodes from his NBC primetime show, his five classic ABC TV specials from the early 1960s, the rare color version of Ernie's legendary silent show, Eugene, the only existing filmed solo interview with Kovacs himself, Ernie's award-winning commercials for Dutch Master Cigars, plus a collection of short films, and a whole lot more. Ernie Kovacs' The Centennial Edition is available now wherever DVDs are sold through our friends at Shout Factory. Be part of our conversation. If you have thoughts on what you've heard tonight, whether you agree or disagree, we want to hear from you. Send us an email, talk at tvconfidential.net, talk at tvconfidential.net and we'll work your comments into our next program. Hi, this is Carol Wells. You're listening to TV Confidential. Coconuts, coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are, standing in the row. Ed Robertson with a few minutes, enough time to tell you about a new subscription program called Confidant Access. Confidant Access, featuring additional monthly rewards. As a TV Confidential Confidant, you will receive a brief preview of each week's edition of TV Confidential before it is broadcast. Exclusive access to audio streaming or downloadable MP3s of the last five years of audio archives of TV Confidential, featuring more than 400 hours of interviews lively discussions, and inside information. You'll also receive the opportunity to email questions in advance for possible inclusion in guest interviews, plus exclusive access to classic editions of TV Confidential that are not otherwise part of the current five-year archive. Plus, approximately once a month, Confidants will receive special access to the hosts of TV Confidential via Skype, plus Confidant-only access to bonus content and more. To find out how you can become a TV Confidential Confidant, go to televisionconfidential.com forward slash join. Enter the promo code CONFIDENTIAL when you sign up to become a Confidant, and you'll receive $5 off your first month of membership. Go to televisionconfidential.com forward slash join and enter the promo code CONFIDENTIAL. A reminder that Richard Pryor Jr. will be appearing at the Bradley University Student Center Atrium in his hometown of Peoria, Illinois, 
on Wednesday, April 10th, beginning at 4 p.m. Richard will be reading passages from In a Prior Life, as well as signing books. Richard will also appear at the Old Town Tap in Altoona, Iowa, where he also has established roots. Richard will be appearing at the Old Town Tap in Altoona, Iowa, on Friday, April 12th, also beginning at 4 p.m. For more information on these events or to book Richard for an event yourself, go to inapriorlife.com, inapriorlife.com. Richard's book, In a Prior Life, is available through bearmanormedia.com, amazon.com, and wherever books are sold online. Also a reminder that Audrey Walters appears in the new Netflix original motion picture, Walk Ride Rodeo. Walk Ride Rodeo is available now for streaming on demand on Netflix. Audrey can also be seen in the Western comedy Big Kill. Big Kill is now available on DVD. For more information on Audrey Waters, go to AudreyWaters.com. You can follow her on Twitter at Audrey Waters. For more information on Talk to the Camera, go to Talk to the Camera. Dot com, Facebook.com forward slash talk to the camera Denver or Twitter at talk to underscore camera. That'll do it for our program this week, folks. Ed Robertson, behalf of Tony Figueroa, Donna Allen, Phil Grice, Greg Airbar, and our producer Chris Corman. Thank you so much for listening. We will talk to you next time on TV Confidential. You can listen to this show all over again as a podcast on TuneIn, iTunes, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other podcast platforms. Best of all, it's free. To find out how to subscribe to the TV Confidential podcast, go to the homepage at televisionconfidential.com and click subscribe now.